Thanks a lot, Matt. Hey, who that say going to beat them Saints? How about the Cardinals? It's finally here. The Cardinals open their season hosting the Saints tomorrow. The Bird game is 1-8 and eight at regu in regular season home openers at UOP Stadium. They've won the last five dating back to 2010. All right, by now you know the storylines. James Betcher, welcome to the NFL. Meet Drew Brees. Patrick Peterson could return punts and offensive line. Please protect number three. Big week for the Cardinals, but a bigger week for Calais Campbell. Here's my Saturday night conversation with CC. I do believe you can play football with a smile on your face. You don't have to be all crazy. But, uh, you know, I do. I mean, I'm motivated to be the best player I can be. And I really helped my team. How do you stop a guy like Drew Brees? Uh, Drew Brees is a tough, he's a great quarterback. You know, I mean, he's been around for a long time. He's, uh, you know, been a great quarterback for a long time. You know, biggest thing is just putting pressure on his face, you know, and uh, hoping that, you know, he'll make a couple mistakes. But, you know, really, you know, you, you stop him by stopping around, putting him in 30 longs, and then just putting pressure on his face and, and hoping that, uh, you know, he'll throw you one or two. The line. That's it. You ain't got a lot to kick it, man. You don't have to cross out your autograph. Uh, I have to talk to you about your acting debut. What'd you think? You know, it's always it's always different when you watch yourself, but uh, you know, it was great. It was great to see myself on the big screen. You know, the lead is a great show. I love watching it. It's one of my favorites, so it's pretty cool to be on it. So you said the other day you compared yourself to The Rock. A lot of people on Twitter they want to hear you do The Rock's catchphrase. So I'm going to put you on the spot now. Can you do The Rock's catchphrase? I can't do it, but <laughs> if you smell, <laughs> just playing. That's it. That's all you get. That's all I get. <laughs> put the tongue out, raise the eyebrow. I can't do all that, you know. <laughs> but The Rock's my guy, though. He went to the U, so I got love for him. Uh, you hear that, Rock? He's your guy, all right? The future of The Rock right here, Clay's camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, big man. Hey, no one has more on the Cardinals than 12 sports. Come join us at Half Moon Sports Grill after Sunday night football for a special live edition of 12 Sports Night. Jen Welter, fresh off her trip to Vegas, will join us live. Plus, we'll see you at our normal time at 1035. Hey, we will respond. That was a guarantee from head coach Todd Graham this week. ASU ready to get that taste of losing to Texas A&M out of their mouths flat out. Cal Poly is a team ASU is supposed to beat by a lot. ASU playing for the first time in the newly renovated Sun Devil Stadium, complete with two student sections. Offensive coordinator Mike Norvell calling plays from up top. It took him a little while to get going, but this is good. Burke mode to DJ Foster, 7-0 Sun Devils. ASU was up 21-7 in the second, but Cal Poly scores 14 unanswered points to tie the game at 21. Just getting word from my producer. Burko threw an interception on the goal line in the third. It is still 21-21 in the third. The sky could be falling soon out there in Tempe. Hey, U of A running back Nick Wilson was a man possessed tonight against Nevada. Wilson carried the ball 21 times for 194 yards and three touchdowns. He also had two catches for 30 yards. Man, this kid is the real deal. As the 22nd ranked Wildcats improved to 2-0, they win 44-20 on the road. Hey, I love the jerseys out at NAU. These are just sweet. Hosting New Mexico Highlands, this one was all Lumberjacks. But check this out, Emmanuel Butler making one of the great plays you will see all day. Just everyone missing. 46 yards to the house. NAU 2-0 to start of the year. They win big 31-3. to Hey, the quack attack goes down, but it's hard to hate the Ducks when they're wearing these uniforms. These are just sweet. They call them their combat duck uniforms just so clean but I guess the saying is if you look good you play good well that didn't apply tonight doesn't always hold true the Spartans match the Ducks LJ Scott 38 yard run great Scots number seven Oregon that goes down 31 28 to Michigan State hey, a lot of crazy games in college football this one was wild Virginia had number nine Notre Dame on the ropes all day long but someone ate their lucky charms down one 15 seconds left Deshaun Kaiser Hits Will Fuller, comeback complete Virginia fans. <laughs> Just shocked. Irish win 34 27. Hey, from a sad fan to a bad fan. Watch Corey Sager's foul ball in the D backs game. David Peralta going after it, but oh, come on, man. D backs fan clearly reaches out onto the field of play to take it away from him. It was ruled a foul ball. David Peralta, usually a calm guy, not very happy here. The very next pitch, this is why Sager takes it deep, hooking it. Just inside the foul pole for a home run. Dodgers, they go on to win 9-5. to five. And ASU fans, 
It's, we, it's still hopeful. I, I don't know. But you, I asked you if we know when we were waiting. I said, is this the team we're supposed to beat? You said it, by a it, lot. It, That's it, yeah, scary. It's tough to put in the words right now. Their offense definitely has to get going because or else the sky will be falling out there. In all right. Well, hopefully when we get out of this show, there'll be some good news. Hey, well, a full recap tomorrow morning. We're not going to sleep at all. <laughs> we'll be right back.